Hi folks, Steve here at Voss Wellers. Today we're going to take a closer look at the Ilio O-Series uh, model 2021. So uh, this video is going to be a little different than what I normally do. We're going to do all three floor plans in the same video. So the O-Series has three floor plans, the O4, the O3 and the O2. Uh, they're using the same shell and that's why we're going to do all three of them together. They're a smaller trailer. They are the best trailer I've ever seen in my life. Uh, hands down, best construction out there. So, and we'll talk about that when we do the tour. Um, we'll start with the O4. The O4 is the most basic um, floor plan they have. It's basically a bed on wheel. Uh, there's a couple of options that we had, but you're not getting fresh water tank, gray tank, black tank. You're not getting a stove or a fridge. It's basically a king size bed. And a counter and we add as an option the furnace um, it's our best seller hands down uh, we sell more O4 than the O2 and O3 together and I think the reason why is because we get a lot of customers that are tenting they love that style of camping but they want to get off the ground and they want to dry sleep in a dry place and the O4 provides that so let's talk a little bit about the trailer itself it's 76 inch wide it's 14 feet, two inch long. That's including the box. Just a little shy of 11 foot of box. Uh, the O4 will weigh 1230 in the way we bring them in. The O3, 1560. And the O2, 1550. So those dry weights are incredible. You can tow them with just about anything on the market. Now there are some restrictions, but trust me, uh, they're so easy to, uh, to tow. We actually push them by hand in the yard. That's how light they are. So, we'll start with the O4. Um, they're all gonna be built the same, exterior-wise. The only difference is what's inside. So, at the front, we got a nice little cover here. And now we'll add or hide your battery, battery box, and your 20-pound propane tanks. <clears throat> a swivel tongue jacks. At 1,200 pounds, you can move this thing by hand in your driveway if you want. Uh, it's fully fiberglass so the roof goes from the front all the way to the back in fiberglass the side walls same thing awesome construction and one of the things that matter the most here is the roof itself comes back down and when it's uh, when it's glued to the side wall the product that they use actually melts the fiberglass together so it's almost like welded uh, you don't even need a bead of caulking to keep the water out it's just not going to get in so that's one of the huge advantage of Elio. The chassis underneath is actually all aluminum. So it's not gonna rust, it's not gonna break. Uh, I'd like to compare them to the bowlers from the 70s and 80s and they, their frame was flawed. It was bent at the front and it all rusted there and they all broke in that particular spot. So you're not gonna have that issue here at all. Um, fenders wise, the industry loves plastic because it's affordable, they actually use rubber. So yes, if you get a little too close to something, you're not gonna break your fender and it's just not going to crack with time when the plastic get bristled. Torsion axle, so again, uh, no leaves here. Uh, it's an enclosed suspension system. It's uh, unlike the leaf, it's all in case, it's all enclosed, so it's not out in the element. So a lot less maintenance on the torsion axle and it's very smooth. Uh, they all have electric brakes. It's not necessary by law. In North America, 2,990 pounds is the requirement to have brakes on the axle, we're way below that. The gross vehicle weight rating is 2,200 pounds, so, but they still put the brakes on it. If you have a smaller vehicle and you wanna use the brakes on this, all you need is a brake controller and you're ready to go. Um, there's a patio light, amber color. They use the frameless windows. It's really, really, really clean. Access to your storage underneath the rear bench. One of the things that they do is they add this little gutter here because sometimes when you open your compartment door, there might be a little bit of water that may fall in. That will keep that water from getting into your stuff. Very nice. Two jacks in the back. Your spare tire is under the trailer in the middle. At the back, LED lights. Around that size, we have our detachable power cord. All three trailers uses 30 amp service. Even though you may never use that kind of power, it's still there. 
there's a connection for a portable solar panel if you want. If you do dry camping and you're going to be relying on maybe the 12 volt power to fire or to keep your 12 volt cooler going, definitely you need to keep that battery top and by doing that you'll need a solar panel. Portable is the way to go. You can just put it to where you see the sun. And there is an outlet here, a traditional 3 inch outlets, RV outlets. Um, we'll see on the inside there is a sink here but it's not connected to a gray tank. It's a little bit like the old style tent trailers where the connection goes out. That's what it is. It's designed to maybe, uh, you know, brush your teeth at night or rinse your coffee cup. You don't need to go to the, to the shower house for that. And uh, the dirty water that's going to run through the sink is just going to come right out onto the ground. So other than that, I think the exterior, we've done the tour. Uh, let's go inside on this one. Now, folks, let's talk about colors. Uh, there used to be a little bit more options with Elio, but in the last couple of years, um, they're making things a little bit more standard because the, the network of Elio is increasing and um, they, have, uh, they have more work. <laughs> uh, the product is very much like the orders are coming in and they have to uh, streamline the options and, and the colors available. So 2020 and 2021, we know for 2021, the color will be gray on the outside. The bubble for the 04, what we call the bubble, is basically that big sticker that's on the side of the trailer. For the 04 will be in red, for the 03 will be in black, and for the 02 will be in that uh, shimmer blue. So you'll get to see uh, the different colors and when we get closer to the trailer. Also the interior colors, the cabinets remain the same but the cushions are different. So in the 04 your cushions will be red, in the 03 and 02 your cushions will be blue. So. Let's take a look at the inside of that particular trailer. You get a screen door, just like any other RV. Inside, pretty straightforward. We talked about that. It's basically a king size bed. Uh, there is two tables. You can choose to put one down and sleep sideways if you want. So the size of the bed is 74 inch across by 80 inch in length. O4 stands for being able to sleep four people. So if that's the case, the optional counter uh, takes place in uh, instead of a big long bench. So that would be your fourth sleeping arrangement if you sleep sideways. So one, two, three, and then your fourth one. But this counter, we feel it's important. Uh, it gives you so much more storage. You can put all your stuff underneath. You know, kind of keep uh, order in the trailer, which is kind of nice. And that little sink is um, a very much liked by customers. What they do is they normally just bring a a bottle of water, sometimes with a pop on the top, or something they're accustomed to using while tenting. And a lot of them just bring a little um, one burner stove, like uh, an induction burner. Uh, there's a couple companies that are making them. So it, it works. There's a power outlet right here. So if you're plugged into 110 at the campsite, it's not an issue at all. You can get your kettle going, your, your coffee maker, your toast, whatever it is that you, you bring camping. So it's a nice little feature, really like that. So let's go back to our dining area here. So um, 74 by 80 in length. You can choose to put one table down, sleep sideways if you just two, uh, or maybe lengthwise as a sort of two twin bed. You can leave one of the table up, but it can all, uh, both of them can go down and they provide you with the cushion. So the back cushions uh, to, uh, to fill up the, the middle there. Now let's talk about the cushion. I'm gonna open up this one. I just wanna show you what it looks like. And we won't do it in the other one, but they're exactly the same. Uh, the, first of all, there's a piece of board inside here. So you're not only putting the cushions on the table itself, you're doubling up on wood because it's in the cushion. And I really like the piping they put around. It's, um, it's just a little thing, but it really shows how far they want to take that. Now, the inside wall on this particular trailer, now that's one of the big difference between the bowler and this again is we have an actually an insulated wall here. So there's foam in between. When we look at the bowlers, uh, there was no uh, insulation. They, they, um, they rely on the quilted, very, very thin foam vinyl that was glued to the shell. And that was supposed to keep the cold and the, and the heat in and out. So that, that just didn't work and they had tons of issues with that as well. But this is an insulated uh, unit and it's pretty nice. So the uh, roof, it's actually a liner. It's from a car manufacturer, a German car manufacturer. So top of the line uh, product. And uh, 
there's two lights. They're double intensity, so you get uh, you get um, a lower intensity. So at night you can just keep one of those on. Very nice finish. Our floor. This is a, probably the most uh, important part of that particular trailer because it's always an issue. Most trailers out there, they would probably last a lot longer than they do if the floor could stand. Uh, the abuse uh, and especially with the water that's one of the problem in the rv industry but this particular floor is actually a an outdoor deck it's three quarter inch plywood encased in fiberglass on all sides so it doesn't get any better than that um <laughs> you can uh, it, it's definitely still going to look the same in 50 years from now and that's what we think we think just like the bowlers like we're fixing a lot of them right now uh steel and uh, we're, we're convinced those little trailers are still going to be around in 50 years from now. That's how well they're built. So we're very, uh, very happy to have the product line uh, in the yard. Every single one of them is equipped with a 12 volt fan. So there's no AC. It is an option for the O2 and the O3. Uh, but we don't get to put them in. Uh, we have not sold an AC ever. Uh, we always tell the customer, look, we can retrofit it. It's not a, it's not a lot of trouble. Uh, I would probably go camping a couple trip and just see if the fan can do the trick. It's got five speed. You can either bring the air in or exhaust it out. And there's an automatic uh, button on that. So it'll keep your temperature at 76 degrees. It's an awesome little thing. It runs on 12 volts. So if you're dry camping, you can get some pretty good ventilation in here. Uh, it'll mess up your hairdo. So great little fan, really like that. And uh, because of it, we uh, had zero customers in the last couple of years that wanted us to retrofit their unit with an AC. So that's the way we bring them in. Uh, the counter is an option. We put that in as well. It comes with a pot of potty. Nice little toilet. So the trip at nice to the yard house is just a little closer. Uh, push button on all their cabinet doors. Pretty nice. And a lot of storage below. And in this particular case, we also put the third window. This is an option. So it just brings more light in. A lot of customers would like to see front and back windows. Uh, Ilu is not there yet. Um, windows on the front and back wall often um, brings in some possible water leakage. Now, in the last couple of years, the RV industry has shifted their front windows to an automotive glass style. So they're glued. They're a little bit better. But with Ilu, they do not want to compromise the integrity of the shell. So putting a big front window here would probably do that. They didn't wanna, they're, they're not there yet. They don't wanna do that. So the third window is kind of nice. It brings a lot of lights in. Beside on a small trailer like that, I think you should be out enjoying the outdoor. Um, another thing that Elio um, really paid attention is they allocate this space right here uh, to put a cooler. So a 12 volt cooler, the one that would run on batteries uh, a, a real good one. It'll be able to uh, keep your food anywhere between minus 20 Celsius to plus 20 Celsius. So you get to choose what you uh, what you want your fridge to be at. And there is a 12 volt outlet right here. So it's pretty nice. So your furnace is right under the bench right there. That will nice keep, uh, keep you nice and warm in the uh, colder nights. And there's our power converter right here. So that's your 110 breaker and 12 volt fuse box. So folks, I think we've done the tour of the interior for the O4. Let's move to the O3. So the O3 is a little different. The O3 has the same as a 30 foot trailer, uh, just in a shrink package. So the exterior is the same, we talked about that. The only difference is will be your bubble color. So in this particular one, it will be uh, the black one. It has everything else on the outside as the other trailer had, the O4. This particular one will come with an upgraded wheel package. So the 13 inch is standard. Uh, this year, 2021, they're offering us a 14 inch wheels. It's a different wheels and a, uh, a trail rated tire. It looks pretty damn awesome. Uh, not cheap, but it is a possibility uh, to have on your trailer. Identical, same compartment, same lights, same everything. The only difference between the O3 it has versus the O4 and the O2 that it doesn't have is the O3 comes with an outside shower and we'll take a look at that later. So let's go inside, take a look at this one. So we talked about the interior color being blue. I mean, the cabinet stays the same, the roof, the wall stays the same. It's only the cushion that change. 
We have a bed, a queen size bed here that is 65 inch wide. Now that's actually five inch wider than a real queen at home. And it's 74 inch in length. So it's actually the length of a double. So they didn't want to make the trailer wider. Uh, it just creates some issues. Now sink and stove, yes. Nice little sink, two burner stove, nice glass top. Fridge and freezer, absolutely. Nice little fridge and freezer. There's plenty there to bring enough stuff for a week. In fact, I camped in a, a little class B van uh, out by a lake where there was no grocery store nearby. The fridge was actually two thirds of this size and we managed to pack everything we needed for a full week for three, for three people. So you can't do it, you just gotta be wise about it. There's your monitor panel. There is a bar right here on the side that you can use as a hanging to hang some of the clothes. There's a little rack on the wall. And yes, folks, you can put other stuff if you want. There's a nice, uh, there's a couple of uh, Facebook page that uh, is dedicated to Helios. And there's a lot of ideas from other customers as to what you can put on the walls and so forward. There's a little bit of space underneath behind the microwave. You also get your fire extinguisher right there. You do get a microwave. We talked about the furnace, you still get the furnace, it's located in the same place, but this one also got a water heater. So you get a six gallon water heater, it's on the other side of the booth. I'm not going to lift the cushion, you're going to need to come and see us for that. There's lots of storage on, under the fridge. If you choose to get the AC going, this is where it would go, not on the roof. Again, we don't want to compromise the structure of the roof on this little trailer. We want it to be on the road in 50 years from now, so we got to be wise about things. Okay. And then there's a, a dinette for two people that converts into a bed that is not as long as the other one by five inches. So we're just waiting the 68 inch length. So maybe perfect for, you know, a shorter adult or, uh, or a child. Um, there is a little bit more storage right here. Pretty nice. A little shelf on the top here. And we have a flush toilet. We talked about that earlier. The O2 and the O3, you'll have a fresh water tank, you'll have a gray tank, and you'll have a black tank. So every time you use a toilet, it goes into your black tank. So you're gonna flush it at the campsite just like any other much larger trailer. So it's hidden, it's out of the way, and, uh, and it's great. Does the trick just fine. So this table goes down, the other one goes down as well. Both of them converts into bed. We talked about that. I think we're done the two or the O3. Let's take a look at the O2. A lot of customers are calling or sending emails about the O2 because it has an enclosed bathroom. Before we do that, your outside shower right here. And I have my keys. I just want to show you what it looks like. There we go. So you got your shower head, hot and cold. Nice touch. And one more thing, a couple more things actually, because we do have a toilet here that is flush, there's a place to store a sewer hose. And there's your water connection and the water heater that we didn't have on the 04. All right, the 02. Ocean shimmer is the color, is what they call it. I like it. A lot of customers likes it. Uh, same exterior as the other two trailers, same storage. Uh, the only difference is, is on the inside. Same size bed, same color as the O3. So that back end stays the same. This column here stays the same. So you have your fridge and freezer. It's the same model. You get the same storage. Uh, the difference is you only get the stove on this side and the fridge is on the front counter. So as to uh, kitchen uh, on the EO2 is definitely a little larger. You got more counter for prep space and that's great. Um, so everybody's different. So some people like the extra sitting so you can leave the dinette at the back made as a bed. And some people prefer having a bigger kitchen and an enclosed bathroom. So. There's definitely more storage I find in this O2. I would probably add another shelf to make things easy, a couple bins in there. 
So your water runs here uh, hot and cold, just like the other one. The same light in all three trailers, double intensity. The big thing is your bathroom. You do have an enclosed compartment. It's all in one with a shower head and a toilet. It's not the tallest because we are at the beginning here. I'm five foot eight, so I can just just fit at the front of the shower. But honestly, this is all you want to do it, folks. You know, you gotta, especially if you're not connected to water, you want to save on the water. You're doing the deed by by hand, so you gotta minimize the amount of uh, water you're using. But it's all here; nothing's missing. It, uh, it's a very popular floor plan as well. A lot of customers are coming to see us because of the enclosed washroom in a trailer that weighs less than 2,000 pounds. In fact, just a little over 1,500 pounds. You can't beat that. There's lots of vehicle on the market that people are, don't want to strain their motor. Even though they might be able to tow a little bit more weight, they just don't want to put that kind of weight behind. So um, it's a great, great little trailer. Same fan, your monitor panel, same fridge, furnace, stove. Everything remained the same. It's just a different layout. So folks, I think I've done the tour of all three. Of course, we probably will have a few more questions. Uh, feel free to give, send us an email, give us a call, or just come and see us if you're in our territory. We're located in Ottawa, in Ontario, uh, in Canada. So <laughs> we have a lot of customers coming from, you know, pretty far uh, east in, in the Maritimes and even west. Uh, Manitoba, some customers are calling, sending emails. Uh, they want to know more information about it. So great, great little trailer. Folks, uh, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.